All right, Lauren. Hey, Linus, I'm a middle school technology teacher. I teach coding, robotics, 3D printing, and computer applications. In your opinion, what do middle schoolers need to learn about computers? Coding, applications, hardware. Oh, man. So this it could be so much of a deeper conversation. Um, I could, man, I could, I could talk about this one for hours. But personally, I think that we should do a lot more to streamline learning at the secondary school level. I think that here in, I'm assuming that you're in North America with me. You might not be, but some countries already do this. Yeah. But I do think that students should be sorted based on aptitude and desire, of course. I mean, these are choices. We shouldn't just be making them for people. But students should be sorted based on aptitude and desire and a little bit more focused. The cold hard truth is not everybody needs to know how to calculate the molar mass of some chemical that gets combined in a reaction with some other chemical and what it makes. I have never, never needed to know that in my adult life. Me neither. And if I did, I'd look it up. You would look it up and or you would just find a guide or a calculator or whatever the case may be. So there's a lot of stuff. And I'm, I'm not saying that I don't appreciate the education I got. There's a lot of stuff that I did learn I mean, even even like that, that gives me the background that I need to understand an article that I'm reading about something that might not even be directly related. Like it's it's super valuable. But I think for the vast majority of the population that will not come up even once between the day they turn 18 and reach adulthood and the day they turn 88 and die. Like it just it is very unlikely. And there's, there's something to be said about being able to kind of graze across a bunch of topics. Yeah. But I think there's a different way to do it. I, I do think there's a different way to do it. And I think that there's a lot of stuff that I didn't learn in school that I'm really frustrated that I didn't. And oh, I think, yeah. honestly, I think a big part of the problem, uh, Jake's talking about how to do their taxes. Um, Heck yeah. I think a big part of the problem is that teachers and educators more generally have a bit of a bias towards education, pure education for the sake of education. And so I think that because these are people who spent their lives learning molar masses or learning how to calculate and draw out all the different forces interacting on an object or whatever the case may be, I think because they spend their lives pursuing that type of knowledge um, and they don't necessarily, and they didn't necessarily become experts on things like ta personal tax planning those types of topics fun basically functionally do not get covered, at least here in BC, Canada, 20 years ago when I was actually in school. So yeah. take this for the outdated and region-specific rant that it is. But um, I think that, long story short, coming back to your question, it really depends on what they want to do with their life. Because asking, like, okay. Not everyone needs to learn how to code. Yeah. And... You can code. You can be a great programmer and basically not give two hoots about the hardware side. You have to kind of understand how a computer works. But, I mean, they have hardware engineers for that. Like, that's what, that's what those guys do. They, 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 they and the firmware folks will create the, you know, the API that your program will interact with. And it, it ain't your problem. And the better you understand how the hardware works, maybe the, the more of a superstar programmer you can become. At the same time, if, if you're wanting to become some form of engineer, like a, a certain level of understanding about development is probably going to be good. But that's, sure. a different that's a different type and level of learning than someone who wants to become like a software engineer or computer scientist would, would undergo. And then you ask about applications. I would say that if you want to get into media production, for example, or you want to get into uh, the film industry, you should focus 100% of your time on applications and you don't need to know basically anything other than, you know, I mean, I think a little bit of knowledge of scripting would probably be valuable, you know, on the coding side. Um, you know, being able to recognize that, you know, uh, you know this kind of configuration is more optimal for running my application than this other kind of configuration. But you should spend pretty much all of your time mastering the tools that you're actually going to use for your job. So that's the, the short answer is it really is student dependent. Um, I've, I've by the way, your job sounds super cool. <laughs> I always thought it was interesting. Like I, I had this home ec class that I had to take. Um, and it was, it was sewing, cooking, 
feel like there was something else. Drama. Art. Art. Okay. Maybe. We had two of those. We had one where you did like drama wood shop and something else. And we had one where you did art sewing and cooking yeah we had we had we had sewing cooking and i think maybe art and then we had woodwork metalwork and shop and i really liked the idea of doing the woodwork metalwork and shop one and Mm -hmm. i think electronics was in that as well but the other one i was like you know what i got nothing against them there is no way i'm gonna grow up to be someone who sews things I like he knows who he is okay ladies and gentlemen yes like i i that was probably one of the lowest grades man knows himself man knows himself i was really bad at it even when i was trying and i had to try at least a little bit because i would have failed like it was a problem um the the cooking one i was like okay i can cook what i need to cook yeah i'm not going to become a chef i actually really like cooking but i don't think working in a kitchen would be my thing so whatever like i knew all of this when i was in grade eight when they made me take the course and i remember thinking in grade eight like i know this this isn't a question this isn't a possibility i'm going to waste an entire semester in this one class completely waste it because it's never going to matter i know how to cook i didn't learn any of it from that class (laughs) i have never needed to sew something and if i did i would take it to someone who is significantly better at it than i am what if they had a class at that time that had focused on seductive cooking (laughs) <laughs> we talked about this on a previous <laughs> WAN show. I feel like that wouldn't fly in like an <laughs> high school. <laughs> that would. Oh man, I feel like the kids in the high school would probably find that more useful. <laughs> so anyway, 